Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Saray, and if you are an existing subscriber, thank you so much. If you are new to my channel, I really appreciate if you consider subscribing. Uh, today we're going to be planning the week of July 31st. As you can see, I have planned out my entire month and I have already posted that video here and I've started to use some color coding to organize my life a little bit better in the way that I prefer. And I have already sort of pre-planned this week uh, with some sticky notes of things that, um, that I wanna get done. So that's what we have so far. I'm gonna start by listing out my work schedule. And the way that I use this sort of weekly view is as as far as appointments go is to set up any appointments that I have so I have them all in terms of a week at a glance so I will reference my monthly view and check to see if there are any appointments that I need to attend to and I will mark them here and for the rest of it I just kind of use it as my ideal week so I typically mark um, to time block so that I can plan it a little bit more realistic um, but the the way that I plan in this week it doesn't mean that the week is gonna go exactly like this not that any week really goes exactly like any of the weeks that we plan because life happens but this is sort of like my my ideal week um, short of any appointments that I have this is how I would like my week to go uh, but sometimes the days go the way that I decided that they were gonna go in my planner and sometimes they don't and most of the times they don't so I've basically just blocked out the um, The days of my work days and I totally forgot to include Monday the 31st. I think the change of color Threw me off a little bit. So I'll go back and I'll add the work day But I'm adding my workout schedule for this week uh, on Tuesdays and Wednesdays uh, I typically take Wednesdays off but for this week I think I might I might go in um, and then for Friday Thursday and Friday as well so I sort of just time block that specific time where I'm gonna be at the gym uh, getting my class in On Wednesday afternoon, Stephen has a doctor's appointment. So I'm using the orange color because that has to do with anything Stephen or family related. And I'm just blocking that time. Uh, it's a virtual appointment just to review some results of a recent procedure that he went through. Um, so I might join him for that appointment, but I'm also going to be blocking this time for content. Uh, this is ideally this is the time where I would spend uh, blocking blocking for content but the reality is that a lot of times it doesn't work out this way I usually work on content like super early in the morning um, or late at night or during my lunch hour but it's just a couple of hours a day uh, sometimes I have less that I dedicate to um, content creation I did mess up on this little sort of setup I was trying to do here so I was just trying to do two colors which I'm gonna do uh, but the first pass didn't come out that great so the appointment is marked in orange from like 3 30 to 4 30 or 4 o'clock and then from 3 to 5 would be the content creation time so I can kind of color code both events here at the same time so I, I like that um, I did pre-plan this appointment using the little sticky note this is one of the little sticky notes from Erin Condren but I uh, might keep it as a sticker I will just use maybe like a dual sided tape like a tomboy tombow 
dual-sided tape uh, that you can find at Michael's or any sort of craft store and might just leave that little sticky note as a sticker because it's orange it goes with with the whole theme okay and now I remember why I didn't set up Monday is because July's color coding was a different color so I was using this blue for uh, for July because it just makes sense so this blue is for work so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill out the rest of my time blocks for July content creation was orange so that's the color that I went with here and then on Wednesday I'm hoping I get to go see Barbie the movie and Steven is probably going to go out with uh, one of our friends while I go see the movie so I'm really hoping to to catch that because that, that'll be exciting so and it'll be a nice uh, thing to break up the, the day or break up the week rather because um, it's like in the middle of the week and I'm excited about that that's something that I actually used to do quite a bit uh, before Steven and I met or when we were first dating I used to go to the movies by myself all the time I actually love doing those kinds of things uh, every once in a while it's just a little bit of me time so I'm really looking forward to that me time this week on August 1st is actually National Planner Day I talked about this in my August planner video setup that I've linked here and yes it is the, an official day for planner lovers and it was developed by or it was I guess put into effect by Bloom Daily Planners and August 1st is officially National Planner Day so I'm looking for a little sticker to mark it down I really love how it turned out in my monthly spread for August but I think I'm gonna just use this little push pin so that it doesn't take too much space and I'll just highlight it use it using the pink color which is sort of like content creation planner stuff related uh, color for for this month so I think that looks really really cute next on Tuesday because I have um, a home task I am listing out our trash day and I typically Tuesdays is trash day and we usually take out the trash in the morning um, but I keep going back and forth with the colors because 8 a.m. is usually my a.m. routine time so that's when I typically start my morning routine sometimes I'm done a little bit earlier at the gym so if for instance if I take a 6 a.m. class or if I have personal training at 6 a.m. that's typically an hour so I will be done by 7 so I can start my morning routine at 7 but for the most part I try to go in a little bit later I found that between 6 30 and 7 in the morning is sort of like my sweet spot to go to the gym so I typically just list my block my time block for a morning routine at 8 in the morning but on Tuesday we have trash day and I usually set that out or Steven usually sets that out in the morning so I just write myself here a reminder next to my morning routine to remember to take out the trash and I'm just filling out the AM routine time block so I have this little sticky note to just remind me of the things that I want to make sure that I include in my planner such as trash day work any appointments that sort of thing and I totally forgot to add the morning routine for the second half so I'm adding it here planning on visiting my grandma on Sunday and I'm going to go ahead and mark it here with my orange family color and we're going to try to go a little bit earlier than I usually go just to beat some of the traffic some of the Boston traffic because it can get a little bit crazy and I definitely don't want to spend that much time sitting in traffic so I am using a sticker from one of the 
seasonal sticker sheets from Erin Condren just to mark this time so it should be fun family time I usually go and she feeds uh, me or both of us if both of us go so we're probably both of us are gonna go and then I get to bring food home which is always great because it's less cooking and it definitely tastes much better than my own uh, cooking and then I just have this little sticky note for our bed replacement I'm not sure if we'll be able to go on this Saturday but but we'll see and I'm using the washi from this sheet to kind of block out the time that I'm going to be spending at my grandma's and I've learned to just sort of cut or trim the stickers from these sheets right within the sheet that way I don't have to peel the other one off because otherwise they tend to lose their sticky or they don't they just don't go back onto the sheet the same way on the left hand side column this is where I'm going to keep just some high level tasks that I want to remember that I do I typically keep this side kind of light because a lot of the things that I would put here in this column would be things that would go in my moxie life goal setting planner where I'm going to list all of my weekly actions for the week and all of my goals and all of that good stuff so here it's kind of very very general and here comes Steven asking if I'm still doing more planning. More planning? Yes. <laughs> and he says that because I've spent all morning kind of setting up my week and setting up my month. It's the beginning of the month, so it's definitely a lot more planning involved to set everything up. So, yeah. So I've been sitting here for, for a little bit, so that's why he's commenting uh, but yeah so here are my action items or my sort of high level to do's for this week and that will pretty much wrap things up I'm not going to put a sticker on Wednesday just yet for Barbie because I'm not sure if it's gonna happen I'm pretty sure it's gonna happen but I don't want to commit just yet and these little page flags are just basically content ideas that I have planned for this week this is definitely very ambitious so I'm not sure I will get to 100% of all of this but I'll definitely get to 100% of all of this at some some point this month so I will move the little flags around as I need to and one last thing, I'm just adding here Steven's payday. So it's his turn to get paid this week. So I'm just going to write it out and just highlight it. And here's my weekly spread for the week. So really excited with this spread and how it looks. It's so simple, just so I can reference it and just kind of see my week at a glance. Thank you so much for joining me today for this video. Let me know if you have any comments or questions. And as always, friends, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.